Good morning and welcome to this, the last trade of the week for the year 2023. And uh, before I show you my spreadsheet, I'd like to talk about last week's trade, which was to go short the S&P 500, um, as I expected it to uh, at least consolidate after six consecutive weeks of gains, and since it was very overbought as well, as you can see here. So we went uh, short just above 4,600 with a tight stop loss above the uh, July high at 4,607. I think we just placed it around 4,640, but got stopped out on that trade. So that one um, lost us some money. And this brings me to my spreadsheet here. As you can see, uh, this spreadsheet um, was um, uh, done by uh, a colleague of mine and, and the three of us basically have uh, done these trade of the week since the beginning of the year. And as you can see here, uh, what we uh, do is we put in the date when we put these on uh, short or long than the market, the entry level stop loss, stop loss distance, the target, take profit distance, profit and loss per trade, and then more importantly, we also include um, a percentage for the spread that you're paying in and out of a trade. And then we look at the risk per trade. So you can see here, for example, that we always risk 2% per trade as a maximum of our overall capital. So in this case, our hypothetical portfolio has £10,000 of um, money in it, and we risk never more than 2% in theory. Uh, per trade. And as you can see here, the year started off pretty badly. We got lots of trades wrong. And uh, then we did get towards the end of the year more trades right. But what is really important here is that um, in the end, uh, we managed to get a profit. And the reason we did so is because if we look at the reward to risk, every trade setup we have, we're trying to make more than we lose. So for example, here we made, or we, potentially we could have made 2.3 times more than we risk, or here six times more, or four times more than we risk. And that's what you need to do in your trading as well. Try to um, get the odds in the favor, but also make sure your reward is on average bigger than your risk. And this has led us then, despite all of these losses, to a profit of 22.67% year to date. That's the return on our. £10,000 hypothetical investment, it's £2,267. And as you can see here, um, we had some months where we had losses, but more months where we had profits, and the profits on average were much bigger than losses. And this is what trading is all about. And if you look at the result here on a spreadsheet, uh, and uh, graphically, you can see here that basically, uh, overall, the winners outpace the losers, and the winners are greater than the losers, hence our profit. Thank you for watching Trade of the Week for the whole of 2023 and I hope that next year again we can have some looks at some interesting trades.